Okay, let's check out Google Chrome here. Now you have pretty much a full version of Google here, although the setup is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little more, I don't know if you want to call it user friendly, but it's a little less desktop version and it's a little more formatted for a television set. I believe that Google wanted to make it a little less computer-like. Uh, so if you actually want to look something up, you would hit the search button on the device here, or in this case, since I have a Google page brought up here, I could just search here. But I'm just going to search with the uh, search button on the keyboard here, and this is how you would bring up a search if you were on a web page, how you bring up the URL slash search box here on the device here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look up, let me look up Tech Harvest on Google here. Now, when you pull up a search on this device, what it does is it pulls in from all different sources. Now, if you had the Google TV hooked up to your television set, it would, or to your cable box, it would pull in sources from there as well. But right now, since it's only hooked up to the internet, it pulls in sources from the internet. So I could search for Tech Harvest on the web or video, or I could actually go and as you can see there, there's a lot of YouTube entries because basically that's my only presence online is YouTube. So this is what's pulled up here when I pull it up. Now I'll just go and search the web and it'll bring up obviously the Google search here and we're going to go to Tech Harvest's channel on YouTube. Now YouTube on this device you have two options. You have the basic web version, the traditional web version that you're used to, or YouTube Lean Back. Now as you saw earlier, uh, there's a YouTube app on the Google TV and you have the option there, or even on the web browser you have the option, to use the Lean Back function. I'm not a huge fan of YouTube Lean Back. I actually prefer the web interface, so I'm going to keep the web interface and show you the web interface on here but you do have other options if you do want to change it. So let's go here to my YouTube channel here and see what it pulls up. Okay. This is as of the filming of this video, my latest video that I have posted here. Okay, in this video, I'm going to benchmark... And everything the seems Android pretty smooth, running Android Gingerbread which is somewhat of a departure from the Sony version. When I had the Sony version last year, playback on YouTube was somewhat choppy. So I'm pleased to find out that obviously there have been a lot of improvements since then. Everything is incredibly smooth here, and uh, it has probably been optimized for Google TV, so I'm really glad to see that. All in all, I do find that this device is a little bit more snappy than the Sony version, the Sony Internet TV with Google TV, the Blu-ray player that I had. Um, I don't know, like I said, if that's because of software updates or if it's actually because this device was a better device to begin with. I'm pretty sure they share the same internals. I don't think there's much departure from each other, but uh, I do get a lot better performance now out of this device than I did when I got the Sony device. Of course, I got that on launch. So it stands to reason that it probably wasn't up to snuff as it is now after almost a year later, about, what, 10 months later. So let's get out of here so I don't end up talking over myself. I'm going to hit the home button here. It's kind of in the background still, but uh, I could change that by just going to another channel. But that pretty much does it for this video. The next time you're probably going to see the Logitech review with Google TV in one of my videos is when I pit it against the Roku device to see which is the better buy, which is my choice as far as a set-top box that I would uh, choose. Like I said, going into this, I'm a huge fan of Roku, but at this price point, it's going to be hard to beat the Logitech review for all the options that it does give you. So that pretty much does it for this video. I have several videos up on Google TV, so if you're interested in that, please click on the link at the end of this video. So I will see you guys next time.